Hi, uh, can you hear me? I, I would like to uh, say that we associate ourselves fully with the statement made by Ambassador Greenstock. I would just make the further point that it has been nearly four and a half months since the Council unanimously adopted Resolution 1441, which found Iraq in material breach and gave it a final opportunity to disarm or face serious consequences. The government of Iraq has clearly failed to comply. Our governments believe that through acts of omission and commission, Iraq is now in further material breach. We advocated a second resolution because a United Council would have shown it was intent on enforcing Resolution 1441 and disarming Iraq. We believe that the vote would have been close. We regret that in the face of an explicit threat to veto by a permanent member, the vote counting became a secondary consideration. Thank you. We go on in. And with that, we've been getting this remarkable news, this uh, historic announcement coming there from the ambassadors of the U.S. and Spain and uh, the U.K. They're arriving at the U.N. for what was supposed to be a behind-closed-doors meeting today to discuss what was going to happen next with this Iraq standoff. But the word we're getting now from the British ambassador there who announced uh, Jeremy Greenstock moments ago coming out and saying that the proposal, this proposed resolution that was being offered by the U.S. and co-sponsored by Spain and Britain uh, for a, a, a test, a tight timetable, and for an understanding follow Iraq's non-compliance. That proposal is not going to be voted upon. They're taking that proposal off the table. Now, you also just saw there at the bottom of the screen some other breaking news that we also heard while we were listening to these ambassadors make this announcement. We have also learned, we've been told, CNN has learned from U.N. officials that uh, U.N. Sec Sec uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan is going to be telling the inspectors that are right now in Iraq it is time for them to leave. We do not know if he has issued that order yet. Let's go back now to the U.N. We understand well, the understand French ambassador that, is speaking. Uh, even if the, if the consultation didn't start yet, uh, that uh, the co-sponsor of the draft resolution uh, decided not to push this resolution to a vote, uh, they have realized that the majority in the council is against and oppose a resolution authorizing the use of force. This is the position of the huge majority in the council. Uh, during the last day, uh, members of the council uh, repeatedly stated that, and, and it is a majority in the council, that it would not be legitimate to authorize the use of force now while uh, the inspections set up by resolution uh, are uh, producing results. And uh, now I understand that uh, uh, the co-sponsor uh, made some bilateral uh, uh, consultation, last bilateral consultation uh, last night and, and, and this morning. And uh, the result is that the majority of the council confirmed, confirmed that uh, they do not want to authorize the use of force. They consider, the majority consider, that it would not be legitimate, whereas the inspection is producing results to take such a decision. Thank you very much.